Today was an exciting day at multiple levels. Cal Fire was here um, with, I'd say, 40 or so staff or more um, to do training and to implement a controlled burn that directly supports our researcher who's looking at fire effects in the chaparral. The chaparral shrublands are found throughout the state, and while they only cover 7% of the state's land, they actually contain about 25% of the state's plant diversity, which is really impressive. Um, historically, people have thought of these shrubs, shrublands as a, a nuisance, but this research will help highlight some of the important species that um, the chaparral harbors, including those plants that only show up after fire. Today, here with the help of Cal Fire, we conducted two prescribed fires in chaparral shrub ecosystems. The plan is to repeat these fires in the fall so that we can compare the effects of spring and fall fires on nitrogen cycling in the chaparral ecosystem. The nice thing about this is that it is another state agency. So it is, it is two government agencies working together that are working towards the same goal us on the fire prevention uh, side and uh, extinguishment and also coupling with the research. Very rare do we have the opportunity to train, practice our skills with live fire. So by us getting to exercise our skills, especially the beginning of the spring, um, in the drought conditions, uh, it's important that we brush up on our skills. We have seasonal employees that have been hired on early and are participating. So all around the training value is incredible that pays off later in the summer.